So I'm here with Amanda Spratt, the current Australian row champion. Amanda, the Olympics are coming up very quickly. Um, mm -hmm. You've been riding since the age of what, six, seven. Yeah. What's your first memory of the Olympics and, and, the, and maybe the racing, the bike racing in that? Um, I think my first memory just from the Olympics is actually watching the swimming and watching Kieran Perkins in Atlanta in 96 when he won the 1500 metres. That's probably, yeah standout Olympic memory for me but then also in 2000 watching the, the particularly the track cycling there and watching um, the Madison win I think that was yeah it's great to see I guess being in Australia and being able to watch that and see that and feel the buzz and yeah it's, I think that's what started off the Olympic hype for me and yeah. So it's your first Olympics what went through your mind when a you knew you were in the chance to be in the team but then when you actually got told you'd been selected? Um, uh, lots of emotions, I think, yeah, just so exciting. It's something that um, I think, yeah, every cyclist, every athlete dreams of to be able to go to the Olympics and represent their country and race there. And I mean, especially for Australians, it really is so huge as well. Um, and it's something that, yeah, I've been working towards for a long time. And I think maybe only in the last, 12 months I really thought that I was a possibility to actually go and so uh, yeah and then to finally be you know build on consistent results this year has been a really good year for me and in the new team work AIS as well and being able to learn and progress but um yeah and then when I finally got told I think there was probably a week before it was officially announced so there was some time to just remain calm and not you know tell too many people but yeah once it was announced and yeah just being able to share it with so many people I think that have helped get me to get me to this point and yeah I had a, yeah, a couple of years out with injury and you know people who supported me there and my family and everyone I think yeah that's what's really special as well is just being able to share it with so many people. So who was the first person you called? Uh, my mum and dad, yeah. <laughs> I called, um, yeah, spoke to them straight away or yeah, messaging back and forth and yeah, they were ecstatic. I think they, it was hard for them too to sort of keep it quiet and not, not tell anyone and yeah, they couldn't wait to, yeah, sort of tell all their friends and yeah, definitely my family were the first people I shared with. So will they be coming to London? Um, mum and dad, no. Mum's actually um, having knee surgery, uh -huh. but um, I'll have my sister and her husband there, and yeah, we're gonna have lots of supporters. And I'm, I'm sure, sure your mum will be mom, watching from they'll, home. They'll, they'll, be, they'll be having a huge party at home, so I'm sure that I'll hear them all anyway. So. so let's talk about the course. Um, it's not a hugely demanding course, but it's going to be probably fast and furious. What's your thoughts, having seen seen the route? Yeah, I think it's going to be a fast race. We went there, we went there for four days after Tour of Trentino this year, so we've had a, the opportunity to have a good look at it. And I think, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be a fast course. I think it's a bit more challenging around the Box Hill, Box Hill circuit, but I still, yeah, it's still going to be fast and uh, so many sort of strong teams and strong riders, and a lot of teams do have a sprinter as well. So I think it's just going to be quite fast and demanding. Yeah. And what about the finish? I mean, just in terms of its location and, and the importance of that from a, a London perspective. Yeah, and it was pretty surreal. We actually had the opportunity to ride all the way in there and ride, you know, past Buckingham Palace and up the mall. And it's, yeah, it's incredible. It's even buzzing, you know, you're buzzing yourself just sort of riding along there and thinking, wow, you know, in a month's time we're going to be finishing along here. So I think. Yeah, that's going to be crazy in itself. Yeah, and from your perspective with the team, obviously it's hard only having three riders. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's time that you had the same balance as the men, given the women's cycling has developed so much? Yeah, I think so. I mean, yeah, I think, you know, the men as well, they, they have a relatively small team compared to what they're used to as well with only five riders, so, and us with only three or, or four max. I mean, yeah, it's not many and it means... Yeah, the, the bunch is going to be 60, 70 riders at most, I think. So I think, yeah, I think it is time that maybe we can have a, a bigger team, maybe the men too. But yeah, just, it is a very small bunch compared to what we're used to for such a big race as well. Yeah. And does that make it tactically very difficult? Because you've got three riders instead of the six, so normally you can sacrifice a rider up the road uh, and actually try and do something to break up the race. It, it makes it very difficult when you've only got three 
three riders to do that. Yeah, exactly. And I think, yeah, this is something I think we've sort of been thinking about as well. Um, I think with Chloe, Shara and myself, we've, yeah, we're, this is all our first Olympics and we've never, I, I guess, had been in a race situation where, you know, it is small teams like this. And so it's something that certainly we need to consider in terms of if, yeah, if one rider does get up the road or from every nation or something like that, then you don't have the, the firepower, the horsepower that you normally would be able to have when you have a six rider team and you can sacrifice one or two to bring it back. So I think, yeah, it's definitely going to make it tactically a bit, a bit different than just a everyday race as well. And it, you know, given that the, the predictions are it's going to be a bench sprint, um, obviously you're hoping that, that Chloe was going to be up there. Mm -hmm. What's your view on how the sprinters are going this week in Turing and obviously you're getting to see a few bunch sprints? Yeah, um, I think it's showing us that the sprinters are all in very good form. I mean, yeah, I mean, looking at the way Ina's racing so far, two stage wins on very tough courses and doing a lot of work and um, yeah, I think, you know, everyone's really stepping up. It's an Olympic year and you can really feel that in the bunch as well. I think um, the racing level itself and yeah, I think yeah, if sprinters are getting over courses like this, then I think yeah, then London there's a good chance it's going to be a bunch kick there as well. Excellent. Well, good luck for London. Thank you.